What is up guys, my name is Comedy, and today I have all five of the new Grease guns added into Unturn in this Christmas weekend because Nelson decided to give us a little gift. Now I'm going to be going over all statistics of all five of these guns going from the pistol all the way to the rocket launcher, giving you guys an idea of which gun is best, comparing these guns to other guns that we already have in the game, and hopefully I can give you guys a better idea of what guns are best. First off we have the Copus. Now this gun is a pistol added to the game. Now first let's go on, as you can see it has an 8 clip magazine, if we go into how to refill it, it takes both low caliber military and low caliber civilian ammunition. Yes, it takes two different types of ammo, which I think is a pretty cool addition, I don't think any other gun actually has that. The Copus has the same exact damage as the Teklovka, Kriz Correct, Avenger, and the Luger at 35 to the head, 26 to the body, and 19 to the limb. Now its range is 110 meters, making it the second best pistol for range behind the Desert Falcon. And it has very, very good durability at 1250 shots. Yes, 1250. The durability is seriously amazing. Now we're going to be going on to the shotgun, the backlash added into Unturned. Firstly, what makes this gun so special? it fits in your secondary slot. Now you might be thinking, okay, other shotguns can also fit in the secondary slot. Who really cares? Well, let me convince you guys why this is so good. First off, if you don't know, shotguns shoot six shots. It basically has six pellets. If I shoot the wall, you will see six shots, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each one of those pellets does 42 to the head, 28 to the body, and 25 to the limb, which is the same damage as the Vanya and the Devil's Bane, and slightly worse damage than the Blunt Force. Also, if you wanna see the fire rate of this gun, it's a little, it's a little slower than the Devil's Bane, but it's still, it's still pretty fast. It's about the same as the Vanya, I'm pretty sure, maybe slightly slower. Now it does take 12 gauge shells, and let me show you what makes this gun really amazing. The range. Look at that range. Look, look at how far I am. 40 meter range. I can shoot from here and look at the wall. Let's go over to the wall. Let's see how much shots actually hit. We have one, two, and three of the pellets hit the wall. Now, you might be saying, okay, it's a little off accuracy. Oh, of course, it's 40 meters away. Why would you even use a shotgun 40 meters away? But still, that range is unheard of within any other shotgun. And its durability is 455, which is just average, so I don't really talk about it. Going on next, we have the Chimera, the new assault rifle added into Unturned. This is actually now one of my favorite assault rifles. It has the most damage of any other assault rifle with 50 to the head, 36 to that body, and 27 to the limbs on damage. Now let's look at the recoil on this gun. And as you can tell, it's completely straight up. Put a vertical grip on this and easily controllable. Third person, let's see. Let's just bring it down and you'll see it's so easy to control. That was 15 shots right there. Super easy to control. And I didn't say it, but yeah, it does take military drums. It takes military magazines. It takes everything. And if you want to fill up its magazine, it takes low caliber military ammunition. And its range is 210 meters, tying the Swiss Gewehr for the best range of any assault rifle. And its durability is 500 shots, which is mm, pretty average for an assault rifle. And if we look at the fire rate, it's about less than the Maple Strike but better than the Heartbreaker. Honestly, it's right in the middle of the two. This gun is probably my go-to choice right now for Arena, and honestly, check it out. It's pretty good. Going on to the Lockdown, this is considered a sharpshooter and not a sniper. A lot of people have trouble understanding what that exactly is. Basically, if you think of a Sabertooth and think of a Sniperskia, those are sharpshooters. They're kind of like snipers, but at the same time, kind of like assault rifles. They're semi-assault rifles slash snipers. Regardless, this gun does 55 to the head, 35 to the body, and 27 to the limb. When comparing that to the other sharpshooters of Sabertooth and Sniperskia, mm, it's not the best. If we take a look at its range, its range actually hits up to 250 meters, which is... I mean, come on, 250 meters, that's that has that's pretty dang solid. If you are wondering what ammo it takes, it does take low caliber military ammunition, but you cannot put any drums or military magazines or anything like that. It only takes the lockdown magazine. It has rather good durability at 400 shots and it shoots pretty fast. Just watch. It has only semi, but just watch. Pretty good and it's completely vertical. Just put on the vertical grip and it'll fix that. But let's try to control it right there just spammed it just like that look at how close that is that is 
that is character length you can easily kill someone and it's very very fast shooting i like it a ton last but certainly not least we have the new lancer rocket launcher now this is probably the biggest thing added into the new update it's the new rocket launcher we now have a choice between the original rocket launcher and the lancer so let's go and let's talk about each one of course they're both very very rare they're legendaries both of them the lancer comes with two extra slots a 5x2 while the rocket launcher is only a 4x2 and the lancer comes with a scope already attached to it this is actually a scope that we haven't even seen before it's like to the side of the gun i actually like this scope a lot and i would honestly take it off to put it on a different gun the only thing is that the it just looks kind of it looks kind of crappy to be quite honest now let's just go right on to damage and test these two metal walls let's see which one does better the lancer rocket completely demolishes the metal wall let's go on to the rocket launcher and it's still up it actually did not a ton of damage it has 15 damage left the Lancer did more damage than the rocket launcher, which makes sense because to make a Lancer rocket, you need a rocket as well as one more raw explosive. So it has more explosive power. But one thing to note, look at the damage. This is going to show the blast radius of the gun. The rangefinder shows it has seven meter blast radius, meaning if I shoot this eight meters, nine meters away, it won't damage me. But let's go on to the rocket launcher and then the range almost doubles to 11 meters meaning i shoot this that same 10 meters it damaged me with your rocket launcher but it does not damage me with the lancer so then that easily shows each one is good for its own specific purpose the rocket launcher you want to shoot this at a cluster of items maybe you see a room with full of lockers shoot the rocket launcher because it has a huge blast radius you can get more out of that one rocket that lancer this is for precise explosions. If you want to shoot right at that door, use the Lancer. You can easily blow up that door. It'd probably blow up the doorway too because it's not that small of a blast radius, but it is considerably smaller. So you have to remember that. But the Lancer is probably also good close range fights. If I shoot like this close, it's not going to really damage me at all. If I shoot that with the rocket launcher, it probably will damage me. So you have to take note of that. If you're in a little close range raid, maybe use the Lancer. But that is all that I have for you guys today. All five new grease guns that were added into the game. Make sure to like the video, enjoy, subscribe if you are new and comment down below which of these guns you're gonna use, which of these guns you think are meaningless, which one you think are the best. Would you use this Lancer over the rocket launcher? Do you think this Chimera assault rifle or this backlash shotgun is good? What about this Copus? Would you use it? Or even the lockdown for some long range battles? Make sure to let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Commoning, and I am out of here. See you guys later.